Glazing is a new opacity modifier within Painter 2017, and it's going to give us control over our opacity on a per stroke basis. Now, there's going to be some interesting interactions with regular opacity that we're going to look at later in the video, but first I want to talk about what the purpose of glazing is. Now, as you can see here in this example that I've colored right here, that we're getting very smooth transitions in opacity, and I'll go ahead and zoom in a bit more so that you can see these smooth transitions and buildup in opacity. This is due to the glazing technology, and that's basically what it's going to provide to you is a smoother buildup than anything that you were able to get in previous versions of Painter. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works by coming over here, File, New, and opening a new default document. And I'm gonna be using the glazing brush category and the flat brush that comes with that glazing brush category. And I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly pick a blue color and just make a mark so that you can see how this glazing technology is going to work. You can see I'm able to control the opacity here in very smooth, very fine gradations. And I'm gonna to explain to you why this is happening and how we can modify the results that we're getting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose a dark color like black so that we can really focus in on what we're getting here. And I'm just gonna make a mark and control A and backspace to clear that canvas. I'm gonna come over here first of all and I'm gonna to go to size. I'm gonna click the drop down and I'm gonna change the spacing over to something like say 100 and just click here to accept that value. And then what I wanna do is I wanna come over here to opacity and I'm gonna go ahead and launch the opacity panel. You can see there we're getting the opacity control panel. Then I'm gonna come over here to the extended property bar and I'm gonna click this icon right here to launch the glazing control panel. So the idea of the way that glazing is going to work is that we're going to be controlling the way that the opacity of the dabs is building up over the course of the stroke. Now, in order to see that most clearly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and set the expression of the glazing to none for right now. And I'm gonna come over here to expression of opacity and set this to pressure. And what we're going to see is the classic type of painter opacity, where as I'm pressing harder, I'm getting darker dabs. However, each dab is overlapping with the previous dabs. And even if I were to set the opacity fairly low, like 31%, if I just keep scrubbing over the same spot, you'll see I eventually get the black. And the reason why is because even though we have a low opacity, the overlapping dabs are allowed to build up until they get to a pure color, whatever color that may be in here. In this case, we're using black. I'm gonna set this back to 100% and set this over here to none. Now, the idea now is that we're getting a maximum value of 100% opacity for each dab with no changes based on pressure. However, if I come over here and I set the expression on our glazing to pressure, what you're going to see is that we're going to be getting something very similar in the sense that as I press harder, we're getting darker and darker dabs. However, there's no overlap. And the reason why is because each dab is treated as 100% opaque and the glazing is controlling the opacity of those dabs over the course of the stroke. What this means is that I can stay in one spot and keep scrubbing like so, and I don't build up to a pure black. And the reason why is because it's respecting the pressure of what I'm getting here. Now you can combine an expression for the opacity and the glazing, and we're gonna be getting kind of a middle result, where if I come over here and I set this now to pressure, what you're going to see is that the dabs do overlap like they did before, However, if I stay in one spot and I keep pressing, you can see that I'm reaching that maximum value of the glazing based on the pressure that I get a result that's kind of like this. So the idea here is that we can have expressions or lower than 100% values for our opacity. We can have expressions or values lower than 100% for our glazing, or we can have both. And the idea is, is that you're going to modify those based on the brush properties that you want. For most glazing brushes, what we're going to want to start with is an expression of none with an opacity of 100% and a glazing value of 100% with an expression of pressure so that we get a result that looks like this. And then if I come over here and reset this brush back to its default, you can see this is the result that we get. And of course, if we just change colors, you can see how that glazing works based on just how hard you press. So the idea here is that we are working with glazing. It's going to be modifying our dab opacity but it's gonna be doing it on a per stroke basis.